Welcome to business time. I am Malisha. Remember to subscribe, like, and share. Have you subscribed yet? I think you need to. Thank you. All right. So today we're going to be looking a little bit more closely at what you need to do when you're to analyze the data for management of business SBA. Now, you are instructed that you must analyze the data using descriptive statistics. Now, descriptive statistics basically describes what the data shows. And there are different ways that you can analyze your data. And we're going to look at a few. So let's look at this chart. Looking at this, we can see that it's looking at the motivational strategies that are used in this business. So it shows that seven of the respondents um, believe that the financial strategy is used and three of the respondents believe that the non-financial strategy is used. So we could um, summarize this by saying that this column chart indicates that 70% of respondents indicated that financial motivational strategy is used and 30% indicated that the non-financial strategy is used. We can also analyze this further by looking and seeing that majority of the respondents believe that the financial strategy is used. So the aim is not just to repeat what we see in the chart, but to try to summarize exactly what the information is saying, but in a different way, all right? And in a deeper way as well. So let's look at another way as well. So let's say that we have some sales figures and something like this, you could seek to find the mean, the median, and the mode. And um, you would have done this in math, so you'll have some ideas already. So when you want to find the mean, you're really finding the average. So let's say you have the sales figure for five months, June to October. So you, what you could do is seek to find the mean by adding up all the figures and then dividing it by the number of values. And in this case, it's five, right? Yes. And so when you do that, you get a mean of $9,400. Now let's look and see how we could calculate the, me the median. Now the median is the middle value of the list of numbers that we have here, that we are looking at here. However, to get the median, it's recommended that the numbers be listed from least to greatest in numerical order. So in this case, like you see in the example, we have the 5,000, then another 5,000, then right after that, it's the 10,000, 12,000, 15,000. So see the least is the 5,000, moving up to the 15,000. And then now we find the middle value, and that middle value right there is the $10,000. And so the median is $10,000. Now, the mode is what occurs more often than the others. And so in this case, we see that $5,000 um, is showing up twice. And it's the only one that has showed up twice. So the mode in this case, we can say is $5,000. So you could write your analysis like the table above shows that the mean sales of the business for the five months June to October is $9,400. The mode sales of the business is $5,000 and the median is $10,000. So this is another um, way that you can describe what is showing on the tape in the table, right? So let's look at another way. Let's say you have this pie chart. So you have percentages working with, you can also convert them into fraction because the key here is that we don't want to repeat what is already presented in the chart, right? So we could say here that the pie chart shows that three-fifths of the respondents stated that a democratic leadership style is used, right? And that's 60% of the 
which um, when you work that out into fraction three fifth, you'd get three fifth, right? And um, we say three tenths indicated that the autocratic leadership style is used. That's the thirty percent. So what this is basically showing is that you're not just repeating or you're not just saying 60% indicated that they use the democratic leadership style. The thing is that this is already um, clearly seen or is showing on the, the chart. So you don't need to repeat that. And so what they want you to do is to work it out, analyze it, um, what exactly is this saying, right? So someone can have a different someone can have a different perspective or a better understanding when you do analyze it right and also you could add that this therefore indicates that most of the respondents believe that the democratic leadership style is used good so i hope that this help you to have a better understanding of what you need to do when you're analyzing your data and it does not mean that it only can be used for management of business but for any other subject that you're um you need to analyze um information the data for you can do that all right so that is it from me hope you learned something see you next time